this case comes down to credibility. Did the jurors believe Taylor Swift or did they believe Mueller's version as to what happened? And I think clearly they believe Taylor Swift. I mean, I mean, the picture, of course, was was a piece of evidence that they looked at. But I think more importantly, they got to hear from Taylor Swift. They knew that within a couple hours of this happening, she had told her mother. She had told, you know, other people what happened. She testified she was very adamant about what happened. She was appropriately angry. Mueller testified about, you know, that possibly he touched her ribs when he put his hand there and then tried to blame someone else and then also had destroyed evidence. So all of those things affected his credibility and her testimony and the consistency of her testimony contributed to the jurors finding that she was the credible witness in this case. Under the law, the winning party is entitled to attorney's fees, to for costs, all of those things. And so there will be, you know, it depends on if Taylor Swift's attorneys then request fees and costs from the Mueller side. And, you know, there would most likely be a hearing because the side that wins then needs to lay out all of the costs, all the costs that they believe were appropriate. And the court finds then what would be appropriate costs in this case. I stay up too late, got nothing in my brain. That's what people say, that's what people say. But I keep cruising, can't stop, won't stop moving. It's like I got this music in my mind saying it's gonna be all right. I just love the person that Taylor Swift is, the role model that she is for my girls. And her music inspires us and just the, this whole event of her standing up for her rights and for what she knew is true. It's just such a good lesson to my girls.